Hey guys, the sun is shining today. It is so nice and warm. It's like 63. I'm about to groom, tack up and ride Z, but then I thought we could kind of do a little spa day. I need to wash uh, Z and Richie, give them baths today. So I thought we could kind of do that together, give a little uh, spa day to the thoroughbred boys. Z is doing his pre-ride beamer. Dakota is taking a good snooze in the sun. Feels so nice out, doesn't it? So nice that the sun is shining. Z has kind of been bumping one of his hind legs uh, in the back while we've been flatting. So I got him these Equifit everyday hind boots just to protect that area where he's kind of been bumping his leg. I did have the vet look at him and look at it. She doesn't think it's anything specific. So we're gonna start using these boots when we flat. Um, so that's why I'm putting them on. I'm gonna pick his feet and put these on while he's beamering. You can kind of see he just had rubbed his hind leg there. So, these nice boots cover over that, like so. We also took off his winter shoes with studs and snow pads because he had been catching a stud on his foot back here. that boo-boo after he rides though. Nice. It's been so nice to have Snuggly Z back after his ulcer treatment. I just feel like he's really happy again. He had been getting this sticky stuff under his ear and I wasn't sure what it was and I was like, it's so weird that he's getting like sticky hair under his ear. And I just realized the other day I saw him, he's like rubbing his ear on the granola licket I got him and that's why it's sticky. We are in shedding season, all the horses are shedding. I'm sure I'll do a shedding vlog soon. It's just been nice to be able to groom him again. Z seems to really like this E. Pona wood curry and it's nice for warming up his muscles before I put the saddle on. Kind of like the posture prep groomer, but slightly different. Once I finish curring him, I use my strip hair groomer to get that excess hair off. He doesn't like this as much, but it's just to get the fuzz off. Oh, I know. It's funny how he's very particular about the feeling of things. He really lets you know. Okay, let's put his tack on. <laughs> they just had Z's saddle flocked again. I feel it was really the right decision to get a wool flocked adjustable gullet option for him because it's just changing a lot. And I'm glad I, I felt that it was changing and had the side fitter come look at it. Mm. 
I'm still been a little crazy about saddling um, with the ulcer stuff going on, but my vet said that he probably has a little bit of PTSD and that might take a little bit of time. His re-scope is next week. And we'll know more. Oh, you're, you're being a little bit dramatic, don't you think? Oh, good boy. Let's try this one again. Can I try this one again? I'm a little locked up in this leg. I'm just trying to help him stretch it out. Okay, I'm gonna go do pillar work and ride, and then we'll do our spa day. <laughs> We had to stop for a snack break, which we're allowing because it's so nice out. Can we get a snack break? So before I start trying to ask for his pillar one work, I like to just give him a few seconds to let him relax and breathe in his environment. I like to do this work outside because up in the ring, he actually seems a little more relaxed and focused than in the barn. Now, pillar one work that I have been doing on the vlog is part of the balance through movement method. The Balance Through Movement Method is a master class that's available online and it is a system that is more of like a rehabilitation type of exercise but um, body work type of things that you're asking the horse to do just to basically regain better balance and strength and use of their body. That would be the way I would describe it. Um, I'm going to put the link to their website in the description below, but I have been taking the master class and working on pillar one and just starting pillar two with Z. So my camera wasn't at the best angle like I thought it was and Z wasn't even having the best day. I was really just trying to kind of unlock him the whole ride and we just did some walk trot transitions after I tried to loosen him up. 
And then I called it a day because sometimes you just need to call it a day. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to make this a two-part vlog because it's getting really long. So thanks for coming along with me, grooming, tacking, and riding Z. And stay tuned for part two where we do a spa day for Richie and Z. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.